Hi everyone, welcome to another video. So this week I'll be helping you golfers out there that tend to dip their bodies lower to the ground during your backswing and go over two main reasons as to why this happens and what you can do to get yourself back on track. And before we get started, I want to say thank you to everybody that supported my channel um, and all the nice comments that I get on my videos. A few weeks ago, I recently made it past 10,000 subscribers and at the time I didn't really know how to react just because I didn't think I would get to that point so quickly. But thank you so much and considering that Christmas is coming up, I thought it'd be a great idea to have a little giveaway for you guys. Now as some of you may know, I do online lessons and I thought it'd be great to give three of you a free swing analysis. All you'll have to do is leave a comment on any one of my videos just going over and explaining your one biggest concern with your golf swing and I will choose three people at random by responding to your comment. And if you are not already a subscriber to the channel, please hit that subscribe button just so you can see more golf related content in the future. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. So dipping in the backswing is when a player appears to lower their head and get their upper bodies moving closer towards the ground. The reason why dipping in your backswing too much is not always ideal for most players is because it changes your distance away from the ground. Now if that happens, then it'll affect your ability to control where the bottom or the low point of your swing is. If you feel like you're a player that suffers from this issue, then there are two movements you have to watch out for. The first movement to look out for is having too much forward bend as you take the club back in your backswing. So let me explain. Okay, so if you are someone that has too much forward bend in your backswing, then the movement of bending forward is looks something like this, okay? So you're actually standing from straight up, you're actually adding in too much of this movement um, during your back swing, all right? So what that would look like from the front view is when I take it back, I bend forward like this. You can see that my chest is low and my belt is also very low. So if anyone bends forward too much into the back swing, you can see that that causes my head and body to kind of move closer towards the ground. Any player that comes in and, and I see them doing this, they, they just have to build in more extension. So extension is just more of this movement here. So more of a, a backwards bend. You have to feel as though your chest and the belt points higher into the back. So that, that'll get you to actually bend more backwards. Now we need to be careful here that we don't obviously do a, a reverse pivot here like this, okay? but. We do want to ensure that your head does not lower and you kind of are able to turn closer to uh, around your center, okay? So the feeling is you want to make sure that the, the chest and the belt kind of point up higher as opposed to the chest and belt pointing low to the ground, all right? So here's a drill that will help you feel this uh, correctly. Okay, so for this drill, you'll just need a round object, okay? So it can be anything that's round, really. But, uh, and you'll also need just the wall, okay? So you'll place the uh, round object kind of on your lead side and gently against the wall. So you don't want to act physically lean into the ball or, or push the ball into the wall harder. You just want to gently lean against it. Next, you'll just put your hands across your shoulders. Now, for a player that has too much forward bend, right, they're obviously going to make their chest low um, and get their belt pointing low as well in the backswing. So what you're going to want to focus on is as you turn, you're going to want to maintain the same amount of pressure that you have against the ball. Okay. Also, you're going to want to focus on bringing your back kind of more over to the towards the wall. Okay. So instead of your shoulders kind of bending forward, okay, you're going to get the shoulders bending, feeling like it's bending more backwards. If the ball also comes away from your side, right, then you're going to be demonstrating more of that reverse pivot that we don't want. So um, having the ball there will also help to ensure that you're doing the bend, bending backwards motion um, the correct amount as well. The second movement to look out for is having too much leftward tilt if you are a right-handed player or too much rightward tilt if you are a left-handed player. In one of my past videos, I talked about the importance of tilting, but just like most things in the golf swing, it should only happen to a certain degree. So if you're a player that dips in the backswing due to too much tilt, then if you're a right-handed player, it looks something like this, where the lead shoulder would kind of drop straight down very, very early or very quickly in the backswing, okay? And you can see that 
my head goes down closer towards the ground as I do this. Now, the other tendency that these players tend to have is if you look at it from the, front, the side view, is that as I dip my shoulder down really, really steep, okay, my head will tend to actually move forward kind of in front of the ball more. Okay, so that's the second tendency uh, of a player that tends to tilt too much. For a player like that to get more so in the correct position, you'll have to feel the opposite. Okay, so the opposite feel would be to feel as though you're actually raising your head away from the ball and your lead shoulder actually feels very high in relation to the right shoulder. Now before you start kind of lifting up in your backswing, um, you got to be careful here, right? So uh, I will share another drill to, uh, to help you feel the, the correct amount of this. Okay, so you're just going to gently place your, your head against the wall um, as you're in posture. So you don't want to physically lean your head into the wall or anything like that, just gently against it. Now you're going to place this club like across your chest, right? And as you take your back, so as you turn your body, you don't want to press your head further into the wall, okay? Or you don't want to move your head um, away from the wall. So it, if, you, if you're putting your head gently against the wall, you should kind of leave it there the entire time that you turn. Now if your head does feel the need to kind of press into the wall, then most likely what would tend to happen is that left shoulder would drop, okay? And the angle between your lead shoulder and the right shoulder would be very steep, okay? And the opposite where if your head moves away from the line, Okay, you can see that the shoulders would be very, very shallow or flat. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment. And be sure to follow me on my Instagram at Jonathan K. Moss. But other than that, I will see you guys next week.